hello friends so in this video we are going to see how you can do a transition using an external event so in the previous video we have seen how you can do a transition using an internal symlink event so since this tutorial is based on an external event so i will just delete this i will just delete this and i'll show this one and i am going to show you how the chart looks like before adding an event uh, so it's look it looks like a square and nothing else and I'm going into the chart and I'm going into this prepare tab and in this tab I need to go to this configuration and simulation which is symbol plane and then I add this event I just create event and I can name this event as whatever I like so I'll name this event as button since it's a local event there will be no significant changes in the chart but if I change it to input event and I go to the chart you will see this button name is appearing appearing here and this open and closing bracket is also appearing here because if you go to the property inspector and click on this event button you will see the trigger is as function call so because the trigger is function call it will be uh, the name of the function and opening and closing brackets so I'll again go to the state flow I'll click on this event and if I make it rising and go back again you will see the rising edge of the clock is shown here so <coughs> that's a change we did so we want our event triggered when the rising age of the clock is appearing and if you go into state flow and run it you will see the state flow stops at this default transition and it doesn't transi transition to the off or on state so this is because a state flow is inactive as there is no rising age of the pulse coming to the state flow so the whole block this whole chart is inactive so we will just go and add a pulse generator to generate this rising age of the clock and i will add the output of the pulse generator to input to this state flow and i will just double click on it to change its properties the period of one second amplitude of one second the pulse width of 50 percent and i'm going to keep these two as it is and if i say okay and run it again you will see it transitions from off to on and vice versa continuously on each second since we are running our simulation at one second time it will be as on and off but we want this as an event not as unconditional transitions so we'll just click on this question mark sometimes it's really troublesome to click on this and we'll click on this button and enter and for this also will click on this event and then button and if you run it you will see there is no change as the input event to activate this chart and the event for transition is same so whenever the input event is happening the transition is happening so so you will not see any changes but let's say if you add one more pulse generator so i am just copying this pulse generator using right click of the mouse and i am adding one more mux here so uh, i will not give this to chart but i will give it to a mux and i will give the another input to the second port of the mux i will also change the property of this second pulse generator and i will keep this period as 3 
and pulse width will be of 50% as it is. So the first pulse generator will have period of one second and the second will have a period of three seconds. And I will give this as input. And when I run it, it may show us some error because it is showing that trigger port dimensions are not matching since we are giving two signals but we have handled only one port so again we'll go to this tab of symbol plane and we will add one more event and this event will name it as trigger as input and do take care that the sequence of this events that is one two should be equal to the ports here as one two so for the sake of convenience i will name this generator as button and i will name this as trigger and again yes it is shown here that input events and function so now it is been treated as function call which we don't want and it will also show us an error that some of the events are function calls and some of are like case trigger which is not allowed so we need to go and change the function call to trigger so we'll go to property inspector click on this button and you will see it is rising but if you click on this trigger you will see it is a function call so we will change it to rising and as soon as you change it to rising you will see that this kind of symbol which is rising age of the clock is appearing here and now if you go just close this window and run it still you will see the same result as we are handling the event transitions the transition with events which is same button event but i will pause it and i will handle this transition whenever this trigger event is happening and this too when the trigger event is happening so when you change it you will see that now the pace of transition has been changed significantly you can also change this to button so this transition happens faster and this transition happens slower as the period of this pulse generator button is less and the pulse generator period of trigger is more so when you go here and run it you will see this off to on transition happens faster and it takes more time to go into off again you can also do some experiments changing the event types here and changing the input time types here and that's all about this video thank you for watching